Check down, count down that pad is clear. 10, 9, 8, Launch auto sequence seven, has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go for launch. Vehicle is supersonic. Stage separation confirmed. Dragon, separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lakes have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Good evening. My name is Joseph Dwyer, and I'm a systems engineer here at SpaceX. I'll be your host for today's Starlink mission, which marks Falcon 9's 200th mission to date. Thanks for pressing for retract. Currently, weather and the range are both green for launch, and we're proceeding with a T0 of 2.58 a.m. Eastern Time. The teams are currently tracking no issues with the vehicle or payload. Now, with liftoff just four minutes and 40 seconds from now, we're standing by for TE, or Transporter Erector, retraction. The transporter erector moves the vehicle from the hangar and lifts Starbuck it vertically on the pad ahead of a launch. There you can see the clamp arms have started opening.
just a second here, we should see the strong back begin to retract away from the vehicle. And as you can see, it's starting to retract. In just a few moment, moments, uh, first stage should finish liquid oxygen load. Stage one, lock load complete. At T minus three minutes, Falcon 9 is, first stage is fully loaded with RP1 and liquid oxygen. And we're awaiting completion of liquid oxygen load on the second stage in about 30 seconds from now. On the sides of stage one and stage two, you can see the gases above the LOX tank venting to maintain a constant pressure. Two locks look complete. As you just heard over the nets, Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with 1 million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. The booster you can see on screen is flying for the fifth time today. Having supported CRS 24, Ground UTEL SAT Hotbird 13F, one Web 1, and one previous Starlink mission. After liftoff and stage separation, the booster is scheduled to land on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas, which is currently stationed in the Atlantic Ocean. Coming up next, we should hear that Falcon 9 is in startup. Falcon is in startup. We just heard that Falcon 9 is now in startup and is now on internal power. LD, go for launch. As you just heard, the launch director has given the final go to proceed for launch. Let's watch as Falcon 9 takes our 53 Starlinks to space. Pitching down range. Plus 40 seconds, you can see that Falcon 9 has now successfully lifted off from LC-38. At 258 AM Eastern Time. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Just heard the call out that Falcon 9 is supersonic, meaning that it is traveling faster than the speed of sound, around 1,200 kilometers per hour or 770 miles per hour. Max Q. There you just heard the call out that Falcon 9 has reached Max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure. This is the highest pressure that the structures will feel during flight.
We're about one minute away from several events that'll happen in quick succession. They are MECO, Stage SEP, SES-1, and Fairing Separation. MECO, or Main Engine Cutoff, is where all nine of the Merlin engines on that first stage will shut down. Stage Separation is when the first and second stage separate. SES-1 is Second Engine Start, and is where the, we light the Merlin Vacuum engine on the second stage. Finally, fairing separation is when the two fairing halves will separate and fall away from the second stage. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Fairing separation confirmed. With that, you just saw on your screens a successful confirmation for MECO stage separation, second engine start one and fairing separation. In addition to Falcon 9's first stage, we also recover these fairing halves. Both of the fairing halves flying on today's mission are flight proven, with one half flying for the sixth time and the other for a seventh. We'll attempt to recover the fairing halves that supported today's mission using our recovery vessel, Bob, and use them to potentially support a future mission. You can see that stage one and stage two are following nominal trajectories. Currently, the first stage is on its way back down to Earth towards our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. And our MVAC engine on stage two is lit. This burn will last for another five minutes. Acquisition and signal, Bermuda. Now, as I mentioned earlier, today's launch marks Falcon 9's 200th mission. On your screens, you can see a great view of MVAC. Both vehicles on a nominal trajectory. As a reminder, our payload today is Starlink satellites. Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. You can see on your screen, stage two on your right and a dark view of stage one on your left. Stage two FTS is saved. You can see stage two is traveling at 15,000 kilometers per hour and is orbiting at about 200 kilometers whereas stage one 
still working its way up to its apogee. Stage one FTS is safe. And now is headed back down to Earth. Stage one entry burn startup. Stage one, also known as a booster, has ignited three engines to slow it down for atmospheric re-entry. This entry burn will reduce most of the booster's velocity before landing on our drone ship. Stage one entry burn shut down. This first stage, carrying our 53 Starlink satellites today, is flying for a fifth time. Both vehicles continuing on a nominal trajectory. Just heard the call out that both vehicles are maintaining nominal trajectories. Stage one transonic. And there we just heard the call out that the first stage is transonic, meaning it is slowed down now that it is traveling near the speed of sound. In less than a minute, we should be coming up on the landing burn for that first stage. Terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn. Stage one has lit one engine to prepare for a graceful landing on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. This is the final burn that slows the rocket down to help it land on the drone Stage ship. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. Falcon 9 has successfully landed on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. Nominal orbit insertion. This marks the 169th overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including both Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. Now, right after the landing, we also heard over the nets a successful shutdown of our MVAC engine on the second stage and nominal orbital insertion. As you can see on your screen, Expected loss of signal, Cape Canaveral. Stage two is still carrying our 53 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. Now with confirmation of first stage landing and a successful second engine cutoff, that wraps up our coverage for today. Be sure to check out our social media for confirmation of Starlink deploy. Thanks for joining us on Falcon 9's 200th mission, and we hope to see you again soon.